All right, I saw a man with the iron fist. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the new movie from the RZA. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's RZA. Uh, he's <laughs> a former Wu Tang Clan rapper. You know, Clang. hand Clang. Wu Tang Clan. Clang. You are so white. <laughs> so Caucasian. Whitey. All right. Well, the movie's about several parties converge on a small Chinese village in the pursuit of vengeance and gold. This basically includes a bunch of assassins, some warriors, a rogue a British soldier played by Russell Crowe, a brothel and its owner played by Lucy Liu, and one nice humble blacksmith caught in the middle of it all, basically. The film stars and was directed by rap star The Rizza. It was co-written by Eli Roth, who has done a bunch of horror classics such as Hostel and Cabin Fever. That was sarcasm. He's not a good writer. Um, it's presented by Quentin Tarantino. I want to I want to caution people. When they say presented by, all that means is he helped pay for it. It doesn't look anything like a Tarantino movie. Please don't think you're going to see Kill Bill because you could just stay home and watch Kill Bill. <laughs> so much better. Um, the the cast, like I said, includes Russell Crowe, Lucy Liu, David Batista stars as the brass body dude you see in the trailers. There's various Chinese and Hong Kong star, stars in the movie. The story is exactly what I said. That's it. It's it's totally a chop sake throwback to 70s and 80s kung fu flicks you can tell that, that rizzo loves those kind of movies and he's trying to play homage to it but the story is stupid it's irrelevant it's all over the place i mean you don't really need a story for this kind of movie it's all about the action the acting how well they do the ridiculousness i mean that sort of thing so when it comes to acting russell crowe he was great i don't know how they got russell crowe i don't know what porn pictures they had of him <laughs> and random actors doing freaky shit. But they got him, and he owns the movie. Every scene he's in, fantastic. He's the vicious British soldier. He's basically on vacation, and he finds himself helping the cause. And he seems to be having more fun in this movie than I've seen him have in a long time. I mean, you can tell, like, he, he doesn't... I think he showed up and said, nobody's going to see this movie. I don't care. So I'm just going to have... I'm going to have fun. <laughs> He gets no kung fu moments, but he still gets some really cool action fights. Actually, some of the coolest fight scenes are with him, and he does no kung fu. I mean, he's pudgy, middle-aged, and but he's got a kick-ass gun slash knife slash twirly thing. I don't know what the hell you call it, but it's pretty fantastic. Lucy Liu, who I normally don't care for, she was pretty strong. She's the head of the brothel, and she can kick a little ass on her own. But if you saw Kill Bill, you, you know that. Like I said, just go watch Kill Bill. Uh, everybody else, especially the, the RZA, were awful. Just awful. I, I like Riz a lot. He's one, he's genius when it comes to music, and I, I can you can tell his heart is in the movie. So I feel really hard. I feel really bad picking on him for it because you can tell in every scene that he loves this genre. He's trying to recreate something he loves. I get that, but his acting is awful. <laughs> the the one thing I can't stand is when people love a genre but they decide to cast themselves when all good tastes say that you shouldn't. It's kind of like, you know, Ben Affleck, when he turned to directing and everything else, and he started recreating his career, and the first movie he stayed out of. That's what I think Rizzo should have done. He should have stayed out of this one, because I think he's got a good handle on some of the action, but his acting just takes you out of it. It's just not good. I mean, and it's not not good in a cheesy fight, sake kind of way. It's just not good, and it's boring. He's a very, he's not charismatic on screen. And the main villain, Silver Lion, I think he's played by a guy named Byron Mann. That dude was absolutely awful. He's like a Chinese prince. He looks like <laughs> Prince. And he like he woke up in acting class because everything about him is awful. Everything he does is ridiculous. It's not over the top in a cool way like Show Enough and Last Dragon. I mean it's just bad and not cool or funny or the whole time every time he tries to be Show Enough from Last Dragon, you just laugh at him like, No, dude, no, you're missing it. You're just he missing ain't the Shogun of Harlem. Yeah, you ain't the Shogun of Harlem, no. And so anytime Russell Crowe or Lucy Liu aren't on screen, it's hard to take anything seriously, and I don't mean that in a cool, fun way. Yeah. It's it's just, it stops being a fun movie when they're off screen. Rizzo directed the movie. I think he has a good eye for it. I think he should do another movie. I think he should stay out of it. Uh, he should avoid the screen if he can. I mean, I don't even think he should be standing next to the frame at this point, based on what I saw. <laughs> stay <laughs> back in the video village. Yeah, just stay, stay back. There's a lot of cool scenes, and some of the fights kept the movie moving. But the problem was the story was ridiculous and all over the place, and, and it wasn't coherent enough. And the acting was so laughable, it just took you out of the movie. That said, the music was fantastic. Now, I know Rizza did the score for it. 
fantastic score. I mean, that's one of the few scores I, I ordered as soon as I left the movie because it was is that good. Really? Yeah, it's just – and it's one of those where you, you hope it's going to bring the movie up. It doesn't. I mean, it does in some scenes because the music is just like, oh, yeah. You know, you start nodding your head like, oh, I want to kick somebody's ass right now. And then the fight happens like, oh, really? That's where you went? And just, uh... So huge fan of the music. Love the music. Already bought it. Highly recommend it. But in terms of the movie, I was expecting a cheesy chop sake flick. We talked about it. We were all excited about it. I was really disappointed. Uh, Tyler is my, my buddy that went with me. He loves these kind of movies. He didn't like it. He was, I mean, at one point we were looking at each other like, maybe we should just leave. And and we, I never do that. I hardly ever do that in movies. But it was just getting to the point where it was just getting stupid. And Rizza just, he just shouldn't have cast himself as the lead. That's a real big risk you take when you're a first-time filmmaker. And granted, he's surrounded by some talented people. Tarantino obviously just signed the check. I, I, he did not show up to help, apparently. Because Eli Roth is not talented enough to manage this. I'm sorry, he's not. I want Rizzo to stick with it. I want him to make another movie, maybe in the same vein, because you can tell the guy loves this genre. You can tell he loves everything about it. He just isn't the right guy to be in front of the camera. So, bad acting, no real story, middling direction, and the worst crime a film like this can make. It was boring. Just boring. Wow. So, But Russell Crowe was pretty cool. Kick-ass soundtrack, and that <laughs> saved it some. So if $10 is the full price of admission, I give it 450